23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. Morecambe and Wise, Britain's greatest comedy double act. It really was what we call today event television. I mean, you could not miss it. You could not miss it. I'm playing all the right notes, <laughs> but not necessarily in the right order. Eric and Ernie often pulled in more than 20 million viewers every week. Quite simply, the best double act that's ever been and probably ever will be. That's what I think of Morecambe and Wise. We felt we knew them and we felt they would never let us down. They were just at the top of their game and they stayed there for an almost impossibly long period of time. What's your name? Elton John. <laughs> Sounds like an exit on the motorway. <laughs> Together, they created some of the greatest comedy moments of all time. He's not going to sell much ice cream going at that speed, is he? A classic Morecambe and Wise episode, lost and unseen since 1970, has been rediscovered. You grew that for a girl, didn't you? No, she grows her own. <laughs> As for the murder of Connie Tory, Affitt was on camera following her into her apartment. Affitt killed Tory and then began living in that apartment using her keys. Police say 46 year old Rodney Sanders confessed to the crime during an interrogation. He gave no reason for the crimes. The sheriff of Holmes County said police work and tips led police to Sanders, and the investigation is still ongoing. A memorial mass is scheduled for Monday for sisters Margaret Held and Paula Merrill. Walden is accused of killing former city commissioner Edie Yates and her attorney husband, David Henderson.